Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which I teach you how to install Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.16.3. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to install Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.16.3. Now before we get started, if you're into Minecraft videos like these about shaders, mods, texture packs, and even Minecraft gameplay, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. I would sincerely appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get straight into the tutorial. So first things first, what you're going to want to do is actually, you know, I'm already in Minecraft, but I'm going to launch it again just so you get it. Um, just launch Minecraft and actually make sure you launch the latest release one time. Just one time is enough. If you don't have these, which would be weird because I think they're default profiles, but if you can't find latest release, what you're going to want to do is go over to installations, click new, give it a name. I'm going to just name it Daniel Plays. You can do that too if you want. And then under version, select either latest release 1.16.3 or just release 1.16.3. They're both the same. Click create and then click play. So Minecraft 1.16.3 has been downloaded and is actually running right now. So that's enough. We can now click quit game. What you're going to want to do now is open up your browser or use the links that I put down in the description so you don't have to look anything up yourself. So once you're actually in your browser, what you're going to want to do is go over to Optifine.net. Like I said, the link will be down in the description so you don't have to do this yourself. What you're going to want to do is go over to Downloads, and click Preview Versions because it's not a full release yet. And there we go. It's 1.16.3. That's the one we're looking for. So click download. Once you click that, you'll be redirected to one of these pages where you have to wait a few seconds and then you can click skip right there. Now this is the actual download page. What you're going to want to do is actually open up a new tab. That's what I typically do and then click download and then close the tab because it usually redirects you to another ad. Well, first of all, you have to click keep because Chrome is uh, kind of cautious with .jar files, but don't worry about that too much. Now, as you can see, for me, it has this little coffee cup icon, which is Java. But if you don't see that and it looks like a zip file or something like that, what you're going to want to do is actually either use the link in the description or look up Jarfix. Then go over to this first website right here. And then once over here, you can see that it says jarfix.exe. You're just going to want to click that. It's going to be downloaded. And all you got to do is actually click it. You're going to be prompted with a yes, no choice where you click yes. And then what you're going to get is this. So the .jar suffix has been registered successfully. So now if you go into your downloads, like show in folder, you can actually click this. Let's do that. And this is why it's important to run Minecraft first. If you don't run Minecraft 1.16.3 first, before you actually try installing Optifine, it won't be able to install Optifine. So you have to do that. Now, once this is loaded, you can click install. It'll take a few seconds. And there we go. Optifine is successfully installed. Now, like I said, we're also going to be installing shaders. So for this video, we're going to be using BSL shaders again. I usually use those for my uh, tutorials because they're very popular and they look fantastic. So what you're going to want to do is either once again, use the link down in the description or go to BSL shaders in Google and you'll find BSL shaders on CurseForge. What you're going to want to do is come over here where it says recent files and then Minecraft 1.16 and then download this latest one. Just click this little button right here. It'll be redirected to another page where once again, we have to wait five seconds, but that's no big deal. So it's just been downloaded. And what you're going to want to do now is actually launch Minecraft. And as you can see, we now have a profile that says Optifine 1.16.3 dash Optifine. So that means it's actually using the Optifine release and not default 1.16.3. So what you're going to do now is just click play and wait for it to load, obviously. So there we go. We're actually in Minecraft 1.16.3. It says modded down here, which means that we have Optifine installed. To actually check if you have the right version of Optifine and whether Optifine is working, you're going to go over into options here, into video settings, and then you're already going to see a few new settings here. But to really be sure, you got to check the bottom left corner here. And if all goes well, it should say Optifine something pre-1 because we're installing a pre-release, obviously. So like I said, we're also going to be installing shaders. So the way to do that is actually go into options, video settings and shaders where we already were. And then down here, click shaders folder and it should be empty by default. What you're going to want to do is actually drag the BSL shaders or, you know, any other shaders that you prefer and want to use into this shader packs folder. Just like that. Don't unpack it. Just just leave it like that. And now once you go back into Minecraft, it should say BSL here. If it doesn't, then just go back into the main menu 
and go back there again. Sometimes you just need to refresh it for it to work. But there we go, it actually says BSL. So once you click it, it will be enabled and then you can click done and done again. So I actually jumped into a single player world just to prove to you that it actually works. So there we go, that's been it. So if you do have any questions, then be sure to let me know down below. Actually, you can also join our Discord for, you know, for extra help. There's a lot of people in there that know a lot about Minecraft. So if you actually need more help than I can provide in the YouTube comments, then of course, join our Discord. A link will be down in the description. So if you enjoyed this video and if this actually worked, then of course, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, which I think you do, then of course, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button. And as always, I will of course, Catch you in the next one. See ya.